Week four of the fantasy football season, and here's a few wide receivers I would look to drop this week. The first guy, Darnell Mooney of the Chicago Bears. So a lot of Chicago Bear players on this drop list this week here. And it's week four already. You can't hold on to some of these guys. I know they were highly drafted. I know they're guys that you thought would have good seasons, but right now they're not getting the job done, and Darnell Mooney is one of them right now. So Darnell Mooney, the first few weeks of the season, week one, Versus the 49 is a catch for eight yards. Week two with Green Bay in that one, one catch negative four yards. And week three versus Houston, two catches 23 yards. So it's not all on Darnell Mooney, obviously. But Justin Fields, he's been a mess so far in the first three weeks of the season. He's not getting the ball down the field. This Bear team, their offensive line isn't that good. And right now the Bears are getting by at two and one so far, running the football. And playing good defense, remember the break type of defense. So right now, Darnell Mooney, I know he's got a decent matchup week four at the Giants. But he's a guy I can't trust. No one on the spare offense besides Herbert and Montgomery are the only guys I could trust here. And right now, Darnell Mooney's not getting the job done. And his way better receiving options on the waiver wire this week to replace him. And he's a wide receiver I would drop this week. The next guy, Jarvis Landry. Of the New Orleans Saints to Jarvis Landry. He's banged up with a foot injury, but it's believed not to be serious. But he's another guy over the last few seasons. Very inconsistent is Landry, especially in his Cleveland Brown days. Week one in Atlanta, seven catches, 114 yards, a big game on nine targets. Week two versus Tampa Bay, four catches, 25 yards. And week three versus the Panthers, two catches, 22 yards. So right now, week four in a London ball game versus the Minnesota Vikings. A pretty decent matchup where I think Landry could make some plays and get things going but he's a guy that's up there in age now latter part of his career and this is saint offense is just too inconsistent Jameis winston we've seen him do this time and time again where he just does nothing the first few quarters and then garbage time in ball games is where he gets his numbers when he was on the tampa bay buccaneers and he's doing the same thing here with the same team but landry he's gonna have some good weeks and he's gonna have some bad weeks but right now like i said wide receivers at the position there's tons of players on the waiver wire that can help fantasy owners and have more consistency and better roles than a Jarvis Landry. So right here on this offense, it's pretty much Michael Thomas, Alvin Kamara, Landry third or fourth option, depending where you want to see. Because Traquan Smith had over 100 yards in this ball game in week three. So right now, Jarvis Landry banged up a little bit, should be all right. But he's still a wide receiver in 10 and 12 team leagues. I would drop this week in the third and final wide receiver. I would drop DJ Chark of the Detroit Lions. I came out of the gates with a nice ball game in week one versus the Eagles. Four catches, 52 yards, and a touchdown. Then week two, the old goose egg versus Washington on four targets, and he dropped the deep ball just out of his reach. And then week three in Minnesota, only three catches, 46 yards, but he had the six targets in that ball game. So Jay Chark, we know he's a good playmaker. We know he showed some flashes in his Jaguar days, but then he got injured, and then he signed with the Detroit Lions in the offseason. But right now, it's pretty much Ama St. Brown they're targeting, and then TJ Hawkinson is the top two targets, and then spreading it out to Josh Reynolds or Khalif Raymond over there in Detroit. So right now, it's pretty much those top two guys, like I mentioned, and the rest of the guys, they're getting broken up into targets from Jared Goff. But Jared Goff, he's looked pretty decent so far in the first three weeks but dj chark's not a guy right now doing much for fantasy owners and right now like i said so many wide receivers breaking out or available on the wire there's no reason to hold on to chark this week no doubt about it he could have a few good ball games and play good football especially with deandre swift now out multiple weeks they're gonna need someone else to step up and be a playmaker in this offense because i don't think it's gonna be jamal williams making explosive plays like Swift, even though he'll be a solid running back each and every week to start as your number two guy. But right here, DJ Chark is a receiver that dropped this week. So that's a few wide receivers I would drop here for week four of the fantasy football season.